Mike 1 on Mike 2. That's you, Kate. Right, here we go. Mike 3, Joel Creasy, you're on. Come down and spend some time with the guys. This is Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, we'll count you in. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Hanging out with friends. Making some radio, man. Yes, yes. Okay, strap him. Oh, we're doing it. We are so doing it. Oh, oh, yeah, here we are. Welcome to Tuesday afternoon. It's Kate Tim and Joel with a squeeze, an extra extra dash of Dylan Lewis today. A little oh. peach. Oh, that's mm, the way you like him. Are you, Dylan Lewis? You good? Mm. Oh, yes, fantastic. Yeah, good. I mean, that's yeah. over the world. Symptomless. Good. Um, how are you, Kate Richie? I know you're full up. That's good. Not hungry anymore. What were you eating? All the harvest snaps? No, I wasn't eating <laughs> all the... She had a family pack of Harvest Snaps for half an it hour ago. It was a bigger, it was you, a bigger pack. Are you going to offer me one of those in, what are they, ever? <laughs> I can't win in here because I'm not I'm not sure if I'm allowed to eat salmon on the floor or, oh, or an Dylan. egg and lettuce sandwich. That's a Dylan thing. Oh. I let you do that. Shouldn't eat egg and lettuce. We still... Uh, are you, can you stay out of it? Because well, you're going to be gone is, next week. It is still uh, odd, but I think it's a lovely bit of your personality. Because I'm just like I, I just like to sit on the floor. Yeah, I, I sit on the floor at home. That's yeah, I, I like sitting home. on the floor too. I like to sit on the floor, even in I'm the lounge room. Here. Why don't you bring a picnic rug? And eat on that. Because this difference? is work, mate. It's not a party. But anyway, I had the harvest snaps. <laughs> mm. Chili yeah, variety. Sure so <laughs> <laughs> mm. There's so many in that packet. Dylan, and can I just note, you be quiet for a second. <laughs> I haven't had a snack here since the beginning of term. At- not true. <laughs> it's true. I've eaten my own snacks I brought from home, like maybe oh, so a punnet of raspberries or my salmon or maybe even a protein ball. Oh, you love the protein balls, which I know are out of fashion this week, which I knew they would be. Um, but the little mini packet of S&Vs, you bring them in from home too or just from the office? I did not. I never had S&Vs in here. In fact, I looked week. at them in the cupboard just before last and I week. chose the... Hu- no, I didn't. Last week. There's video evidence. Of a, a, we'll SMB. find it. We'll find it. Oh, I don't think so. But anyway, I'm not going to eat anymore now because you're no, food I, shaming me. No, I just wanted you to share. Oh. That's all I want. Mate, it's fine. I'm not going to eat. Share. Gnaw Look your hand him. off if you put I'm your, ha- your little, little hand in. I just want you to share. Poor little Tim. I know. Size 30s. <laughs> Apparently, we're having an eyes wide shut themed party. Well, no, we're not really, but we've got oh sent God. these in because uh, Eurovision's uh, Sheldon, Australia's contestant. Oh, yes. Sends in these Why? little eye masks, which remind me of amazing. eyes wide shut. He wears, yeah. he wears amazing costumes, including a lot of eyewear, like yeah. almost curtains upon his eyes. And he's in Italy with Joel Crazy. We'll catch up with him in a sec, see how it's all going. Kicks off on TV, Eurovision, tomorrow night on SBS. Great. Oh, we've just been watching the Eyes Wide Shut trailer, though. I might change the theme of my birthday party this year, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting. Kate, Tim and Joel. It's Jax Jones. Where did you go? Here, on Nova. Kate, Tim and Joel. Jump on the line or download the Nova player anytime for 10K a day in May. You could join Emma from yesterday. Hello, Emma. Uh, as well as our other contestants and winners from last week. Not contestants, they're winners. Contestants? You yeah, mean, is this like the perfect match? Oh, good reference. <laughs> oh, that is a good it's reference. It's only match. because I was talking about perfect match and Tony Barber and all these people with my trainer at the gym this morning. Yes, I went to the gym. If you saw me there, 13, 20, 10. And your arms are really big today. Big arms from the gym. Arm it must day. have been an arm day. <laughs> it was a chest. It was chest and arms. Was it a chest day? Oh, wow. <laughs> anyway, we were talking about because there was that show on Channel 7 the other night, Fame Big Brother. Game. Oh. No. Well, it's Fame Game. Uh, I, I did not see it. Oh, no surprises there, but tell us about it anyway. <laughs> I didn't know how to put the TV on. But I, it, it was a, a, a reflection of uh, careers within the television industry. A few people I knew over the years, people oh, yeah. I've worked with on Home and Away. Oh, yeah. Um, Matt Stevenson and the likes mm-hmm. um, telling their stories, sometimes sad, yes. It's really sad. Um, I a, and then also some very um, kind of high profile names that you're saying our listeners wouldn't even know, like a you know, Tony Barber and a I know Greg Tony Evans. Barber. I know He's you know, but yeah. 
Well, he sang a song, Tony Barber Tony, did. Tony did, yeah. Did he? On the yeah. show. On the show. I think he, dinner party. Did, did, he said something like, uh, this is what my trainer told me, because he bores me to death when he's training me. And he told me that <laughs> wow. Tony Barber's <laughs> career came to an end because he said himself he asked for too much money. Oh. Oh, pro oh. Tony. Oh, man. Classic showbiz people He too. deserved it though. Yeah. Of course. I miss Glenn Ridge. Okay, welcome back to the sale. Oh, he wasn't my uh, um, <laughs> guy. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. When you I watched the hear show, talking about this Friend. show, this rubbish show that was on free to air TV no, about no, things from the forties, yeah, and, and, and people sharing very important <laughs> stories. The forties. I don't know. It how was the nineties. You both watch it. I didn't see it. My dad texted oh, me on the, fam- on the it, family Dylan? WhatsApp. On the he said, TV. Tune, it, tune in. Why are you watching it, Dylan? You it got was other things to watch. I left it on and I kept on watching it. Oh. It was, it was a interesting. Sunday night. Yes, yes, it was Sunday night. They didn't have Peter Russell Clark on it. They all would have liked that. Where's the cheese? <gasps> Who else was on it? Oh, seriously, we do, we've got a good story to do. Yes. I think we're done. I think we're done talking. Okay, about I'm this. fine to move on. I just oh, I no. was padding while you, you know. Why would the you buttons. pad? It's time to talk fast love. Oh, we want to know how fast you moved. Thirteen, twenty-four, ten. Did you meet someone on the tram to work or the light rail? Or maybe there was someone standing at your bus stop for a little while at high school, and you're like. Oh, and then they were your girlfriend for the last two years. Is that how it works these days? These days you just swipe, don't you? Well, this is the thing. This is um, why we want to pivot, though. That's what we're doing. We're, we're taking it out of that yeah. world. Yeah, old school oh, love. How love fast that. did you move? 13, 24, 10. And wow. good on you for doing so. As Will I Am says. I like them more and more. Because he is an artist. And do you mean Sorry. just like kind of, you know, engaging very quickly? Or do you mean, oh, God, we were moved in and uh, married within six weeks? Uh, well, yeah, that could work. I, I guess I mean like a plane, which you're about to tell us about, is a great example. Yes. You're in a plane for a very short time and mm. there's not really a lot of socialising on a plane. So the fact that you've hooked up with someone on a plane, not necessarily mile high hooked up, but gone, how about we meet when we get to the ground? Yeah, it's where nice. are you that's, going that's from fast there? love. Yeah. It's old-fashioned. It's nice. A woman named uh, Christina Burton, she met the love of her life on a plane trip from New York City to Los Angeles. Now, Christina first saw Gabrielle in the empty terminal when he plonked his bag on the floor and sat right next to her. I think it's about a six or seven hour flight, so that's pretty fast. LA to New York. New York yeah, to LA. But, uh, but seven hours is certainly not a city flyer. Certainly from not. New York to LA, from like, LA to New York. Yeah, uh, what a great route. <laughs> he plonked his bag down. She found that infuriating and arrogant. So she was in a bad mood. Um, the pair then ended up sitting next to each other on the plane and he engaged Christina in conversation. Now, over the six-hour flight, oh. very close, they watched movies That's together. It, they had That's serious good. conversations about spirituality. He read her... Oh, God, I've had a mental blank because I was going to make a joke about the guy that told my fortune when I sat down in the business class with you on the way to London. I was going to mention that. But I, I was actually going to mention the word. Read, his pa- read her palm. Because there was a bloke, Dylan, so we got on the plane. Now, Kate gets in her pyjamas before we've even taken off, so, but also it gets changed well, on her seat too, which is a bit oh. weird. No, I don't. It's like, better than in the dunny. No, it's not. The, it's dunny's, like the, 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 the dunny's up there, fine. And um, No one's weed on the floor by then. And um, this guy started... Reading Kate's palm while I'm sitting back, just about to have a bit of shut eye for our big flight. And uh, oh. Tim's on his eighth gen. Did he touch your palm? He held my hand and looked at it. Mm. He did. Um, in but, primary uh, school, when that happened, you, you then spit in their palm and you go, You're going to have a pool. <laughs> That's right. I remember that. <laughs> I see a pool in your future. And you go, <laughs> I've never heard that. Oh, it's funny. Did he do that to you? It's fine. No, no, he didn't do that. And then I pretended to to sleep for twelve hours. Um, <laughs> anyway, they had they, uh, this this guy and this girl, Gabrielle and Christina. They ch- chatted about spirituality, religion, and their respective outlooks on life. I mean, full on conversations very early on. No. They knew it was love at first sight, and immediately mm. made plans to see each other again. The couple have since become engaged. Oh, beautiful. It was love at first flight. Oh, beautifully said, Dylan Lewis. Oh, Dylan. What about that time that we had to see the opposite each other on the plane? Like they had a configuration up the front when we went to Vegas where you it was like on a train where you were facing one way and I was facing you. Remember that? Oh. No. Does that yeah. work on an aeroplane? What happens when no, the brakes they, go on? You end up in each other's lap. They got rid of that pretty quick. But yeah. yeah, that was a funny little thing. That was 2014 on the way to Vegas. Did it have a ta- Are you thinking of the GAN no. with a table in between? No, United oh. Airlines flight at 100%. 
I'll Google it for you. But it okay. was crazy. I was like, who wants to sit like this if it's, if it's a stranger? At least I'm just with Kate Ritchie. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You, you, all your Christmases, <laughs> Christmases have come at once. Yeah, I know. Meet a palm. That's when I did say, though, when, when we're up the front and the gin and tonic came in a plastic cup, I go, what am I, at a festival? <laughs> <laughs> did you say that? I may have said that. Yuck. He did. As he a bit of it was fun. funny. No one, no one laughed and I said, I'm not with him. <laughs> uh, I mean, normally you get glass. Anyway, I am an adult. I'm um, Chantel. How, far, hey. how, how fast was your love? Oh, my God. So... I'd actually just finished having chemo. Um, I had breast cancer, so I had no hair, one boob. Yeah. Met my husband at the pub for the first outing. Um, got the yeah, first date after three days. Amazing. Then we, yeah, then we went to big day out, the last big day out on the Gold Coast. Yes. Yeah. Got nice. engaged in front of Pearl Jam because that was my favourite band. Oh, amazing. Oh, tell. Yeah, he got this. He got on one knee and he said, look, I'm not a rock, sorry, I'm not a religious man. But in the presence of a rock god, will you marry me? Oh, can I, can I, Chantel, can I ask what song? What song was playing? Alive. Oh, can oh. we get that? We need to get that. Down. Oh my god, I've got the goosebumps all over. Yeah, that is, that is so good to hear. Are you saying three days after you finished chemo? No, it was about two weeks after I finished chemo. No I met him. No way. Yeah, so I had no hair, one boob. I love this story, and he lo- absolutely adores you, and you must love him. I do, I do. So, yeah, we got engaged in the January. We got married. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> for you. What's your husband's Married name? in the August. Yeah. yeah. And our wedding song was Just Breathe, and now he's got a tattoo with the Pearl Jam Stick Man. He's got Alive, he's got Just Breathe, and our wedding date's on his arm. Well, this is for you, Chantel. That's beautiful. All your Christmases have come at once. Yeah, I know. Kate, Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. Glory days. Yeah, pass you by. Glory days. Yes, it's another day of the week. And it's another Dylan Lewis special with his On This Day segment. He put so much work in. It's the hardest he's worked all day. I know, I know. And the way he was talking to you about it during the songs. I mean, I shut my ears because I like to, you know, listen like a listener. Yeah, exactly. What do you got? On this day. Way back in 1994, Weezer released their self-titled debut album. You know Weezer? Yes. Yeah, these guys. Also known as the Blue Album. Nice. I thought I should chuck that one in there. 94. 94. Weezer are... Have officially been the worst interview that I've ever done. Is that it, right? was so, it was so bad that there was a website started up soon after the interview saying yeah. Dylan Lewis is the reason Weezer will not tour Australia. Wow. That was what the website was oh, called. So, were you the downfall of hated. Weezer or were was, they the downfall of you kind of thing? Uh, it was symbiotic. We no no one that's anyone that had a downfall, but do you know what I mean? Did you ruin their <laughs> I, interview or you, you know? I, no, they, I ruined it by persisting. I should have just given up. They yeah. were. Really tired and emotional okay. and off their nuts. I'm also surprised that you didn't ruin the Killers' career because when you and I interviewed I the Killers was my at the second worst at, at <laughs> a B festival, I've never seen someone who thought, this is the way I'm going to prep for an interview eat all the blue cheese and drink all the red wine and then meet the guys from the Killers with me mate Tim. Oh. I'm like saying they're going, Oh, um, that is triggering. I'm so look, so sorry, guys. Um, you I, to I'm sorry. Apologise for me. I stank just like socks. And oh, red it would have been so gross. Oh, and blue Kate, cheese and red wine. The red wine lips. <laughs> Kate, it was two p.m. Sunday too. It wasn't like it oh, was. Don't try and distance yourself from this behaviour, blackers. Oh, blue mate, cheese and red wine. I no. I, the killers. What were you I, doing at I this point? I would celebrate after the interview. Okay. <clears> and where were you God. both working at this point? Nova? It was, yeah. it was the one time we've been allowed to work together until this day and it's taken 15 <laughs> oh, years for them to let us have another go. <laughs> and when you're in the studio tomorrow, we'll get wheels of blue cheese and yes. vats of <laughs> <Okay>. Merlot. <laughs> yes. well, what else you got? On, on this on day. day. Mm-hmm. In 1899, Fred Astaire was born. Oh, okay. Oh, that's lovely. That's 1899. Oh, oh. Okay, sorry, I'll stop repeating. <laughs> On, on this on day, day, in 1967, rapper Young MC was born. Oh. Born Marvin Young. Oh. 
He's from brilliant. London. You know that? Yeah. One more. One more. On, On this day, day, 1957, Sid Vicious was born from the Sex Pistols. Oh. Finally, I know you said oh, one more, but yep, you said yep, one more. Yep, yep. Does anyone know? On this day, <laughs> I know. In 1960, <laughs> Paul Hewson was born in Dublin. Okay. Tomorrow, can we His do name? just things? <laughs> oh. Can we do? I'm just, no, I'm not giving notes. No, I reckon yeah, tomorrow, can we do? Things that happen on this day from the 2000s. Because you know when you go, oh, my God, was that really five years ago? That's incredible. Yeah, but, but everything from a couple of years ago is corona-related. I'm trying to steer away oh. from that because it's depressing. On Paul this, Houston is also known as Bono, yeah. by the way. Yeah. On That's this actual day, too. it's time to play Harry Styles and wrap this segment oh, up. Brilliant. Thank you. God. Kate, Tim and Joel. Oh, Harry. <clears throat> I just had some of Kate's harvest snaps. They are very chilly. They're not my harvest snaps. You can have them back now. No, they're no, full they? of they're full of flavour. I do uh, prefer just the wasabi ones. Me too. The chilly one's a bit too full on for on air. It's like when you made us eat Tom Yum soup in here that time. I'm like, what do you think I do for a living? Jeez, <laughs> that was girls your choice. They, did, they didn't make you. You chose that. That was a tie day. Oh, you no. wanted to come to where I live, and I said, "Let's bring where I live to the yeah, studio." Thailand and on a, and you know how I was. I knew it was from your suburb because it was delivered on a big bus. <sighs> I don't even get it. <laughs> Tom, I'm in the back of a bus. That's how you really want it delivered. I don't get it. Do you get it? Yeah, I do get it because I've been to where you live. Um, <laughs> what did the grandparents do with the kids? What? What did the grandparents? But the best darn thing about Grandma's house was a great big <sighs> Do with the kids, 30 2410. We were watching telly the other day and an ad comes on for a new show called The Staircase. Here's the theme, the theme of it. Sounds great. It's got some Colin Firth and Tony Collette. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, great I think cast. I've seen the poster of that. Great cast. Looks really spooky. And I turned to my wife and I said, what's this all about? And the kids piped in and said, oh, we know. This is that story about the man who killed his wife by pushing her down the stairs. Whoa. Wow. How old are your kids and again? I know, but nine I'm just saying for the th- audience. <laughs> they're nine and 13. And yeah. so we go, why? Why would you even know that story? That's horrendous. I don't know that story. And they said, oh, because we were in... Grandma and Grandpa's car the other day, and they had the podcast. Oh no! They, they were listening to. I think it's called Beyond Reasonable Doubt. It's a it's a podcast about this exact story. And they've the made staircase. a TV show about it. And they've made a TV show about oh, it. Sorry. So the kids knew all about it because the grandparents had talked to them all about this horrific tale, which I don't think is really suitable for the tweens. But that's the kind of funny stuff that happens when the kids are with the grandparents, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Thirteen twenty four ten. Um, what happened? When the grandparents were with the kids. Yeah. Are the, are yeah. The, oh, is it a true story? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and podcast. it was a t- Is it like a book, then a then a TV series, and then the podcast? Is well, that the a, order first it was of a murder? And then oh, okay. It the was actual a, a event. Podcast. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if it's a murder. I haven't seen it. I don't know what the. Well, end I would of the story assume is. if someone pushed someone down the stairs and they died, let's assume it's a murder. Well, alleged. He said, he said she just fell, and then and then he said. Well, people do fall down the stairs. That's also gone. real. Yeah, so I don't know the end of the story, so no spoiler alert there. Mm. Just the fact that the grandparents had mm. decided that was an okay topic to discuss with the young children was concerning for oh, it's us. It's on binge. I might give it a go. Yeah. Um, look, I, I understand a nine-year-old. I have a nine-year-old, but I don't understand 13. I know Rose. She's beautiful. But what are 13-year-olds into? Is that something they're talking about, murder and death, or are they not there yet? No. No way. No, well, no, but, no the, hang on. But you say that. I'm asking what she's really looking at, because she would have um, Rose, an iPad. What do you watch? She doesn't watch murder stuff. She no, told me just she's, then. yeah, she's not allowed I'm to. Not do she she, no, I know what I'm saying. saying. I'm not the, saying the version what you do at your of the house. way they present to them yes, to you exactly. it's very different to what they they actually know about. I've re- I, there's 13 year olds and there's 13 year olds. What? No, my one's a good one. Yeah, I know that's what you say. Yeah, Don't you worry about it. You're missing that, what I'm mate. saying. I know. You're I'm not picking it up. I'm, I'm picking it. up what you're putting down, Blackers. I'm yeah. ignoring what you're putting down. Yeah, because she's right one is. of the good ones. I think it's like grandparents thinking that watching the six o'clock news with the sound oh, really loud in front of the kids <laughs> while they're doing their homework is just fine. No. The news has never been allowed on. Oh, my goodness. Rose just texted me. She's watching The 100. What's that? Oh, with Andy Lee. I don't think that's. But what? What? Not, I don't mean now, Rose. I mean, what are you into? <laughs> oh no, she's now she's texting me saying murder. I loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rose. Dystopian. All right. So maybe the grandparents weren't so bad. But but for the little nine-year-old, he doesn't need to know that. 
people can fall down a set of stairs. Well, being killed by the husband, that's awful. Well, that's true, actually. But also Disney movies, a lot of them, the parents are dead in it, which I don't understand. Well, they all start that way, but there's a moral to the story and they find happiness and joy. Always the dad, always the dad dies. No, it's not always the dad. There was a new one one recently where, the new one recently where it was just the dad looking after them and the mum was sick for ages. I'm like, oh God, is this necessary? I get it's real. Yeah. I get it's real life. The one but is it necessary? Set in China. Yes. What's that one? That one set in China. <laughs> um, Sarah. Um, what, you're right though. I just can't remember what it's called. It is that one though, isn't it? Yeah, it's cute. It's beautiful. It's actually a beautiful. And then film. he meets another woman, and I she know. finds it really hard. Is she younger? Who knows? <laughs> um, <laughs> what did the grandparents do with the kids, Sarah? Hey, Sarah. Good stuff. Um, maybe maybe get your grandparents to set up your phone for you. Sarah's trying to find the staircase on binge. Camilla Cabello, Ed Sheeran next. Joel Creasy from Italy. Oh, wow. To Eurovision. Kate, Tim and Joel. Keep dancing, yeah. Oh, it's Camilla, it's Ed, it's Bam Bam here on Nova. It's Kate, Tim and Joel. With Dylan Lewis, a little fresh little squeeze of Dylan Lewis, but we also... Have a fresh Italian little grating, like a Parmesan grating of Joel Creasy all over us right now. Oh, my God, that's too much. Oh, my God, Thanks. how wonderful. Hello, Joel Creasy. Oh, greetings, Australia, from uh, from Eurovision in Torino. And thank you for organising me some Camilla Cabello. Cab- you know I've missed it so much. <laughs> yeah, dance for me, Joel. Just keep dancing, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm in the middle of one of the piazzas, so I thought I'd go downstairs and get a bit of Atmos. Because um, Dylan and I know, I know heaps about radio now, um, and um, and apparently in one of the um, biggest piazzas in the world that you can see from space. So it's a bit like your new place, Blackens. <laughs> oh yeah, how wonderful! Is it pouring rain there? No, it's a beautiful day. Although it's uh, it's nine uh, nine a.m. There's no one up and about yet. It's Italy. So, I, guess, I did um, see a photo. I saw a photo of one guy on a bike, which he looks made up. You know, like one of those. <laughs> Fake guys on a bike with a baguette, with a baguette and a cigarette in his mouth. Yes, um, there's one person staring at me on a bike right now. Yes, hello, I'm talking to Kate Ritchie from Australia, Kelly Fletcher. <laughs> oh, no, not interested. Is Italy not more of a neighbours country or a home and away country? Do you Italy? Think? Oh, we get get this. The Iceland. So I was back. I went backstage at the arena last night, and the Icelandic delegation, a big neighbours fan. So that Miss was interviewing them, and she said, "Oh, my co-host is on Neighbours," and dragged me over. And then they said, "Oh no, we haven't watched in twenty years." I said, "Oh well, you won't know who I am." Then. No. Um, and I said, "Thank you very much. You're the reason we've gone under." <laughs> now, how is it over there? Because look, you know, we did notice that you were in Milan for a bit, just um, you know, hanging about. Didn't look like you were working too hard. Are you all right? Uh, I'm all right. I'm all right. I mean, this is this is the week it all starts. The first semi-final of Eurovision is on tonight. Um, Got to be honest, the second semi-final is better. Um, that's when Australia's competing. That's one that they're calling the bloodbath. Tonight, there's like, tonight's like a real typical Eurovision. There's a lot of like, um, what, what the hell is that act going on? But, you know, I'm doing fine. I'm, you know, first world problems. I'm eating my pasta. I'm drinking my espresso. I'm uh, staring at all the handsome Italian men. It's really yeah. Fun. I hope you're still exercising. Are you exercising though? You know, we don't want you to come back, you know, not feeling your best. Like. <laughs> A boomba. Um, you never yeah, be no, a boomba. Um, <laughs> no, I'm working very hard. I'm running between delegation, delegation. That's a you know Eurovision, Eurovision term. Yeah. Um, you know, chatting, chatting to the uh, chatting to the countries and um, seeing who likes us and who doesn't. Yeah, I must say you are working very hard because I don't know if you've been receiving the same at Blackers, but Joel has been sending me through, you know, the odd bits of content, funny little stories. I mean, he can't, now his life is radio. He can still be on the other side of the world doing Eurovision. But when he sees a funny story... Uh, what, what's the little funny laugh over there at the moment? What's the little odd spot in their paper? Yeah. No, I'm a content muncher, but the only problem is I, um, I'm a bit worried that I've blown my thoughts to you, Kate. Um, and where I get all my content from. So I don't think when I get back to Australia, you can start using that specific website. Oh, it's so fine. They're about three days old anyway, buddy. So thanks very much. <laughs> you should send them to me. Oh, now, I might need oh, some of them. Now, now, Sorry, now can't, a cafe can't is opening hear you. I'm standing right in front of... A cafe is now opening and I'm standing right in the way of a poor man putting out chairs. So I bet you can't... Hang on a... Sally Fletcher. I bet you can't order one of your own lattes in Italy because they don't believe in that stuff. And that's fantastic. So what are you doing over there for your little no. buck-ups? 
can of V. Oh, I'm doing an espresso, <laughs> an Aperol Spritz, uh, oh, Peritivo. Oh, um, great. I flew through, flew through Doha, and um, that was an interesting experience trying to explain oat milk to them. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm... Make sure you got some oat milk ready for me in the studio when I get back. And um, very quickly, have you seen anyone else? Have you seen Mika? Have you seen Graham Norton? Have you seen anyone of note that's oh, not performing? No, Graham is in the commentary booth next to me. I haven't seen him yet, but I saw Mika yesterday. Yeah. And I saw him rehearsing, and he was shocking. And I was like, oh god, it's like someone get me Mika. I need to pull him backstage and give me, you know, the Sonia Kruger one hundred and one of TV presenting. Uh, but then, um, then in the last night's actual live performance, he really turns out. So he's clearly one of those people that just really stumbles through a warm up. Just go up to him and say, Diet Coke and a pizza, please. Diet Coke and I'm on my knees. Because I don't reckon oh, anyone would have ever said that to him before. <laughs> I don't that. know how old Mika is, but gosh, he looks good for, like, for however old he is. Yeah, he's, he's still jumping around old, singing that same song. I know. Yeah, yeah, he's doing wonderful. Probably oh. 35, Joel. Wash married, your mouth Married out. to that Italian director, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you keep Ukraine busy. Ukraine are performing tonight, so it's very um, It's going to be an emotional eve. Oh, of course. Uh, make us 38. Yeah, yeah. still oh, a spring God, chicken. He was like 48. <laughs> and nothing, <laughs> nothing wrong with that, Joel Creasy. No, not at all, not at all. I also want to check in with our glossies. Let's have a look what's happening on the screen today. What's happening in the world of glossage? <gasps> oh, oh, the new yeah. Avatar film. This looks magnificent. Yeah, the trailer has I can't wait. dropped. 13 years ago at the movies, do you remember being there with those 3D glasses on and going, yes, I, I have never seen anything like this in my life? I thought that movie would change the world. I thought everyone would wake yes. up and get lit and yep. start not having wars anymore. Yeah, so and we what would happened? see the folly of our way. Nothing happened. No, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Um, but also, I also thought um, it's a movie, though, that you'd never really watch again because once you've seen it on the big screen in your 3D glasses, like, have you watched it after that? Yeah, I've watched it with my son, who absolutely loves it, and he's hanging for this as well. Oh, I should watch way. it with my kids. I forget um. about Avatar. No, okay, it's good. beautiful. It's got some scary bits in it, but, you know, you fast forward. Does more. it? Okay, talk, cool. Not talk as scary loudly. as the news, am I right, guys? Oh, that's so true. Oh, you Jack, really are big the on news the news at the news moment, news hound. Oh, I know. That's true. Um, all right, that, when does it come out? And end of the year, I think. Is it, is it December 15, perhaps? Oh, yeah, remember. December 15 with a third, fourth, fifth and sixth movie planned. I did hear a little yes. rumour based on yes. someone who I may or may not have been speaking to who was actually in it. Oh, oh God, you're that you know all of them. That they made all of them at once. Why would they wait oh, this good. long to release it? No, so that, well, that's why ages. it's taken them so long. They thought it's so expensive to get everyone to this location and to get everyone in this like mindset. Let's make all the films at once. Now that's just a rumor. Don't they just use that big screen around them these days so you don't have to go to a... Yeah, but they talk to a tennis ball on a stick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get it. It's acting. Oh, yeah, my it's, God. Oh, my God. God. There is that such a skill to, to it. Talking to a Wars tennis ball, pretending it's a monster. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so disrespectful, the way when you're speaking right now. That's when I was in Star Wars. What? You were in Star Wars? Oh, yeah. No, don't bring that up. I mean, yeah. God. Doing what? The back of his head, like all, all good Dylan Lewis production. Talking tennis ball. Next, Glossy, what's happening here? Some, is that that Chappelle guy? It is that Chappelle guy. What's he done no, now? I don't know what he's done. Well, you know, he got attacked on stage. Make some noise for hip hop history. <gasps> mm. Mm, that bloke oh. was certainly roughed up and put in the back of an ambulance. Amazing when a non celebrity storms the stage, how they treat them. Very Isn't true, it? Tim. Very true. Oh, Why is this a bit of trend here? now? Why are people just well, attacking well, comedians? Well, that's what Chris Rock. Well, Chris Rock didn't say that, but a lot of comedians actually said that's what they fear the most now. That if yeah. you're offended by a joke or something, you just get up and hit someone. Yeah, or or worse. Mm, well, they this guy had a weapon, but Netflix will now not stream Dave Chappelle's sets from the Netflix 
is a joke festival where he was attacked on stage by a 23 year old man. Um, next, I'll see what's happening. Oh, oh this is Sam Wood mm-hmm. um, from The Bachelor. Yeah. He has just sold that business of his, like his kind of um, health business. He had the apps yeah, and the, yeah. you know, the steps and the dieting the DNA, and all my that. DNA or something. Yeah. I. I could be making this up, but I think it's seventy-one million dollars. Oh God, that sounds about right. Wow, that's a lot of money. I mean, His good on him. Doing well. I think he has fifty children. Does he? Well, there's quite a lot of them. Is there really? Three. There, well, he's had. I think he. I don't know if he has had children from a previous marriage. Oh, Sam's announced the birth she of has. his third child, Harper mm. Jones Wood, on Monday too. Yeah, with his um, nice partner. name. Final glossy here. What do you think about this? This is Prince Harry with Reese Darby mm. uh, in a new ad for New Reece. Zealand tourism. Me too. How's up? H. <laughs> oh. Uh, hi. Are you okay? Yeah. I'd- I haven't run in a while. Clearly. You know, we actually invented jogging. The Australians? No, Aotearoa, New Zealand. Oh, terribly sorry. I know you guys hate that. Kia ora. Kia ora. The ad goes for four minutes and 57 seconds. Well, surely that's the long version. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> I would assume it is. Are you going to play it all? No, of course not. I've stopped <laughs> it. good. Yeah, so I stopped it after 21 he's seconds. He's quite a good actor, though. Old has. Well, he's better than Megan in suits. He didn't throw a manila folder down on the table and say, God damn it. So that's a start. Yeah. So he's a new NZ ambassador. Yeah, why not? Makes no sense. <laughs> Harry will do it. Does it. Not if, make it may, if, it, if it makes zero <laughs> sense, you can be assured that Harry and Megan will give it a go. Tim and Joel. Nova. Nova's 10K a day in May. Oh, my God. 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 10K a day in May. A guaranteed 10K winner. Are you serious? Every weekday. Oh, yes. Every weekday. We are good with our word. 10K a day in May. Yes, sir. We are here to serve. Are we? A lot of money. But we are. What a great fun spending spree 10K would be. Yeah. I know. And I, it is fun I money, isn't it? It is fun. And you shouldn't spend it on bills. No. Or, or no, or mortgages no. or car repayments or credit cards. No, you shopping, should make put yourself in more debt. Jimmy no. Choose. Jimmy Jimmy Choose. I think that if you have Jimmy a choose. if you have a debt or some kind of bill that's hanging over you and it would make your life a whole lot better if you woke up tomorrow and it was mm. paid. Spend the t- 10k on that. Yeah. No, then you don't have any Jimmy Choo's. Yeah. Yeah. But then thanks. you get your credit card back to zero. That just means free money to keep spending. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Let's make the next call. If you've made it on air with us or if you've downloaded the Nova Play and register your details, don't search for the Lizzo podcast, whatever you do. But you can certainly register your details uh, to get in the running for the 10k a day in May. Some things it is working well for. Let's make the next call. Hello, this is Valerie. Oh, hello, this is Valerie. What a beautiful way to answer the phone. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Valerie. Where are we, where are we speaking to you from today? Uh, from my car, but I'm the passenger. <laughs> your car. Whereabouts is your car driving? Are you in Melbourne? Um, Yes, in Melbourne, in South Yarra. Oh, you sound like you're in South Yarra. Oh, How lovely. And what speed are you travelling? Good question. Um, at the moment, like 20 k's. <laughs> wow, the traffic at this time in South Yarra is heinous. I get it. But what a brilliant part of the world it is. It is. It's beautiful. Yeah, where are you chuffing off to? Dinner. Home. At Francois home or something. Uh, Woody. Cooking for dinner. What are you cooking for dinner? Mm, I think chicken wrap. Chicken you know, wraps. It's you know, good for Tuesday. You know what you should add to your chicken wraps? Heaps of saffron because you are loaded now. You've just won $10,000. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my word. That's amazing. Know, Is that going right? to be handy? Yes. Oh, my God. We're busy planning our wedding. Oh, congratulations. Are you married? Yes. Oh, oh, thank you. When are you getting married, Valerie? Where? What's happening? 
the in, next year, July, and we're doing it in South Africa. Oh, <laughs> going home, obviously. That's lovely. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> massive. Are they the love of your life? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Just make sure as soon as you get there, though, you get married straight away. You don't want to get into a carjacking, okay? Just get married straight away, Valerie. Yes. Day one, day one. Day one, as soon as you get off that place. She gets it, she gets it. It's only a stereotype because it's true. Hey, Valerie, $10,000. Yeah, I know, I know you get it. These guys think I'm being rude, but it's true. Uh, congratulations. We're so happy for you and you and your new partner. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, Valerie. We'll do it again tomorrow. I, 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 oh, I don't Valerie. buy that she's from South, um, South Yarra, though, because have you ever heard anyone from South Yarra get excited about $10,000? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> No, she was. Maybe she's not originally from there. Uh, anyway, we're doing it again tomorrow. Jump on the air to get in the draw. Kate, Tim and Joel. Becky Hill with David Guetta. Yes. Who emails who? Does Becky Hill at gmail.com get in touch with David underscore getter69 at aol.com? <laughs> 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 I mean, who, or is it the other way around? They have people. Bonjour. They have people. Of course they do. Of course they do. Do they? Yeah. Do they I'm, even know each other or have they ever heard of each other? Don't think they've even met. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that David Getter's bounced back after that. Strange choice to remix Martin Luther King's I Had a Dream speech on top of the um, Empire State Building a couple yeah, of years ago. Yeah, what happened there? Um, sometimes you don't you don't get them all right and I don't always kick goals. Sometimes you're not reading the room. <laughs> like Take us, right? But as long as you get back the next day, brush yourself off and get back into show business. It's not a sprint, it's a marathon. That's right. Um, like farting into a birthday present. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> 13, 20, really? 14. Why are you doing did this? Did the fart... <laughs> Take your breath away. Um, this is how it came up yesterday. I wrote farts for my birthday once. And we'll just, you know what we should do this week as well? That's not a story. Oh, I've heard it a thousand times. I've heard it a thousand times. We should do it. We've done it on air before. It's not a story, We've done it on air before. Farts that took your breath away, part three. <laughs> Third and 2410. Uh, if you want to be like a lovely... Who was our winner from Melbourne just a second ago? Um, Valerie. Valerie. If you want to be like lovely Valerie... Jump on the air, get in the running for the 10K a day oh, in May. Mad not to. And tell us, did the mm. fart take your breath away? Now, Kate, off air, and, and you're absolutely right, said to me, oh, you've yeah. heard this story a hundred times. I have, yeah. but it's a brilliant no, story. So, but what I would it's like to do now, story. because Dylan Lewis is here, let's right. throw it over to Dylan and say his interpretation. Oh, and see how much you kind of, you know, well, faff I, about stories and flower them up to make them good. I'd hand flower them up in this case because uh, this was a lovely bottle of Shivers Regal that I was gifted in a tin, an well, airtight now, tin. Shush, because you might be giving him clues to what the story is. Dylan, over to you. Well, for starters, I don't think Shivers Regal was the best choice for you. I would have gone more with a Lagavulin or mm-hmm. a Lefroig, something yeah. with more of a smoky. But we were young and stupid back then, you know? We weren't doing things how we who do it now. Who gave that to you? Who even, who gave that? Do you remember who gave it to you? Jeff or Brad. Whose birthday is it? <laughs> was it? <laughs> Probably Jeff or Brad. Brad wouldn't have done it. It would have been Jeff. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, and Jeff would so, probably, like, so it's August. And Jeff would have obviously given it... Because that matters. How? It's, I'm trying to draw. <laughs> I, I'm trying to like uh, illustrate the yeah. um, timeline. But also, Jeff wouldn't have ever put his hand in his pocket. So Jeff would have been given that bottle oh. of Shivers Regal. Yeah, he regifted and then regifted it to me because you know me, big Shivers fan when I was back <laughs> back then. Does that mean you know what Tim's birthday is, Kate? Yeah, he's the tenth, and Joel's the eleventh, and I'm the fourteenth of August. Did you know that? By your mind. Cutest thing. I oh, know we're all getting tattoos. Oh, we're getting no. matching tattoos. No, we're not. Bean tats. So the story goes, as Tim continually says on the radio, that you had your bottle of Shivers and it came in one of those tubes mm-hmm. with ends on it. Like, like a Pringles a, tube for whiskey. Like a, pring- yes, like a Pringles tube. <laughs> and uh, we were sat at your place and, and having great yards. And doing God, it was fun. Play, listening to the shots. Chili Peppers, shots, having some shot, shots. Shots, 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 shots. God, and back when life shots was simple. Shots Shivers. And it was back when I used to eat a lot more Don't dairy. look at me like it's annoying that I'm asking questions. No, That's the way you just looked at no, me. No, I was going, I don't know, maybe it was. I doubt it was. <laughs> we're having probably, you know, some cowboys or some oh. wet ones. I don't think we were, <laughs> we were just having shivers. Um, and uh, with a, just a drop of water in it, just to open up 
Yeah, the taste like of my Scottish water. grandfather told oh, me. I can just, just imagine. A drop of water. Yeah, the two of you never carrying went on. To town. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I, um, I, I thought it would be a humorous moment. thing to do a, a little a fart into the tube and put the lid on and then offer it to Tim and see if he could still smell it. And interestingly, it. You, can, you can still smell it. Oh yeah. my God. How you long put between, it in the, tube? between the putting in the tube and the seconds. opening of the tube? Would have been a, like a 20-second banter between us. But what do you mean, going, interestingly, I'm not going to smell this, you idiot. You and I'm going, Just see if it still smells. And then, and then eventually he did. And yes, oh. lo and behold, it did still Oh, smell. so hang on. Your version of the story is mm. that... You told Tim that you'd done that in the tube and said, why don't you have a smell and see right. if it still smells. Oh, Your version of the right. story, Tim, is he, Dylan Blind caught you unawares. Me. He did because I think you were a mistake. You obviously told the other boys because you're larrikins, <laughs> but you did not tell me. I'm standing by that as 100% they did not tell but me. But what Dylan's saying is that you... Like willingly oh, yeah. said, yep, well, I'm gonna have a big whiff. Up whiff. Nose. Yeah, that's me. That's me. Get Dylan's uh, gorgeous the the gas from his gorgeous diet. Yeah. Get that inside me. I'm so Happy sorry. birthday yeah, to everyone me. Listening, this is a horrible story. Now the kids yeah. in the car will be loving this well, stuff. It does work. It does. You can do it in any tube as well, kids. If, if you yeah. put it in a Pringles tube, yeah. what any about kind a jar? Of tube. Uh, you can do it in a jar. Airtight, I mean, yeah, as long absolutely. as it's airtight, I guess, is the idea. Yeah. Yeah. What about the space the space capsule? <laughs> you can huh? do it in any kind of... Yep, <laughs> just anywhere you like. It's it works. It's the same principle as a Dutch oven. So it's, it, it hangs well, around. That's not, you're only allowed, you, can, you can only say oven now. You can't say Dutch oven anymore. Oh, yeah. that's cultural appropriation. <laughs> I, I'll t- oh, don't worry. Oh. That was me at the end. People think that's Beyonce at the end of that song. That's actually me opening the Shivers Regal Pringle Cube. Ready? This bit. Foul. Wow. Sniffing it up like it's your birthday. Oh, Shivers Regal. I met Chris Noth at a Shivers Regal function once. Oh, oh my God. Get back on the plane, Chris. You are boring. Yeah, he would have been oh, paid to be there. I'm yeah, guessing. I know. So Did you show him the trick photos. I showed you? Did no, you what is it? <laughs> I wouldn't have even I wouldn't have even been allowed twenty seconds with him. Well oh, that's stew. Um now I'm on record as the girls were very big in that whole poo jogging um thing and, and as you'll notice here, farts that took your breath away. Patricia and Kim are joining us. Um, yeah, probably stories about their husbands. Well let's find out, Patricia. Um farts that took your breath away, hit us with it. Oof. Okay, well, that wasn't actually me. It was my little dog. Mm. Mm. Um, not only did he make us leave the room, he couldn't have left the room as well. <laughs> he, little old dookie, he did a little tootie and tail between the legs and off he went. Oh, my goodness. Oh, too much for the old dog <laughs> as well. I feel sick. <laughs> what about when Bindi Owen made the whole studio no, audience no. Dancing with the Stars no. lady? Bindi and Derek! <laughs> Yeah. That's not when even. She, when no. she won Dance with the Stars no, and her partner no. lifted her up. No. And then Wendy That's... Williams burped and farted. I apologise. I apologise. <laughs> yeah, you did. Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg farted on camera. She did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's her. That's true. It's not, not even true. true. It is. None of Why this is true. Why is it still funny and I'm 49? <laughs> this is Kate Ritchie on the set of Summer Bay. <laughs> <laughs> and this is her walking down the hallway before getting another packet of chips, even though she hasn't had a snack all year. Oh. oh the crop dust. Oh. She does love a crop dust. I've never done that if Kate No, you're never right. Done far. No, this is what hers sound like. <laughs> you should be so lucky. Like, oh my god, has someone got rose water in here? <laughs> That's the sound of a gold logie fart. Ready? What's happened and the to winner your show? is what's happened to your show? What's happened? You've joined it. Um, <laughs> this is not my fault. This is You're the one farting in whiskey things. Hey, Kim. Um, I believe this is you. Classic Kim here. Classic Kim gear. Really Farts <laughs> took your breath away. What happened? Oh, it's actually myself. So I was uh... in the supermarket with my 16 year old son, and I let one go, and it was pretty awful. And I was just kind of turning around to try and walk away from it myself, and a bunch of Teenagers walked into it, and then they started blaming each other, and was like, "Oh my god, that's horrible! What have you eaten?" But I was like, "Oh, it wasn't me." And then my stepson decided to actually say, "Oh, it was her." Oh. I love how a group of teenagers walked into it. <laughs> walked into it, and it was yeah, it was like a cloud. Oh, it's like a cloud. Right. Oh, it's a brown cloud. I 
apologize, I apologize. Tim and Joel, driving you home on Nova. Get your ears around this, Dylan Lewis. All right. This is Ben Gillies. Silver Chairs, Ben Gillies. Yeah. He's now solo artist, Ben Gillies. Oh my God, I love that man so much. This is on the stereo. Is that him singing? Yeah. Isn't it lovely? Let's give it a bit. Let's give it a bit. Because we've got Jackie Gillies in a sec. What do you call that? Is that like a 90s synth vibe? It's a bit of that. Yeah. You're asking me. No. <laughs> I guess he's playing the drums in it yeah. as well. Can play the drums. Can play. Played in silver chair. Yeah. Of course. Love it, Benny. Congratulations. Love you, mate. Bloody love you. We love Ben Gillies. We love Jackie Gillies. Um, we love the Gillieses. Of course and we you do. do. The Gilly. The Gilly. Um, yesterday I was bringing to you someone I don't love very much, James Corden. <laughs> who just ruined the Miami Grand Prix by wrecking our Daniel Ricciardo's vibe. Big race to save. Just trying to rest the legs. Thank you. And go. You've got two minutes. Daniel, big weekend. Obviously, for McLaren. How are you finding it here in Miami? Yeah, sorry, you're going to have to ask that in Australian. So, because Daniel's Australian, so I'm going to have to get that in an Australian accent, please. Uh, looks like a, you, a, a no, ripper. Good day. Good day, mate. Looks like a, a ripper track out there. Racist. Ooh. Yeah, um, we also worked out, Dylan, before you joined us, that uh, James Corden kind of only does one thing on his show when he has a guest on. He asks this question all the time. Tell them what it's about and who you play. Tell them what it's about and who you play. Tell them what it's about and who you play. Boring. No. So um, anyway, he, he doesn't have to do any research. Yeah, he doesn't anything. have to have seen anything. Does well, he? lucky because he's so busy ruining everyone else's stuff through the day, <laughs> and then he jumps on TV at night and does his. Um, that show finishes up in a year. Yes. Um, but I ja- love that you hate him. I hate him so countdown. much. So I hate him so much. 362 oh, days. <laughs> Good, we've already got rid of Ellen. Let's get rid of him next. Uh, okay, now here's the thing. Jackie Gillies, um, psychic extraordinaire. I don't know if yes. you know this, Dylan, but Jackie predicted that we were going to have our third child. She touched Mon's belly at a party, which I thought, is this an ice wide shut party? What's happening here? But no, she said, you're going to have another baby. You know, in the way that Jackie says. And then, mm. boom, Artie came along. So we asked her overnight. Was she pregnant when she touched her belly? Yes. I don't know. One belly? Was she no pregnant? One well, no, we didn't know. So she may have been. Yes. May have been after the champagne went. unreal. Anyway, we asked Jackie, um, how long do you think it will be before James Corden's off our screens for a bit? Oh. Slash forever. And as I said, not in a bad, morbid way. Just it's time for you to go, James. Okay. In a friendly way. In a friendly way. Jackie, I haven't heard this, but let's hope it's soon. Fingers crossed. Hi, guys. It's Jackie Gillies here. So your question is, how long will James Corden be in the media industry? Well, Tim, sorry to burst your bubble, baby, but he is not going anywhere. He loves what he does. And I actually see him wanting to work for himself. He doesn't like being signed off to other contracts with other networks. He actually wants to invest in himself. That's what I'm saying. And I actually feel almost like what Oprah Winfrey did, Mm. where she invested in her own network, she invested in herself, and I feel like that's where our friend James Corden is going. And he's actually aiming for that, to invest in himself, start his own company, and uh, keep doing what he's doing. But, you know, he makes all the money himself instead of... You know, making other networks money. <laughs> but I do love me some James Corden, I have to be honest. No, you don't. So there it is, guys. I, I hate hope that. you're all shining bright. <laughs> shine, shine, shine. <laughs> oh, Jackie. Oh, God. So much more of James by the sounds of it. And don't course. compare James Corden to Oprah. He's on a winner. Oh, okay. Hey, um, we'll talk share houses next. This is Tom Grennan's latest tune. It's an anthem. It's anthemic. It's Remind Me on Nova. Kate, Tim and Joel. Tom Grennan. 
Remind me, he's here in September again. He's just been here. He's back again in September to tour Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane. Uh, and you'll be out here on my podcast this week, potentially. Nice. Oh, that's exciting. We'll get our act together, but it's happened. Yeah, what's and the name of it again? Introducing Kate Ritchie. I Not know. introducing Kate Ritchie, introducing with Tim Blackwell. I don't even know. You better check Very it out. Good podcast. Very good podcast. Budra was our latest episode. He's a lovely boy. He's oh, about yeah. to head over to the US. Somewhere on a plane. Somewhere on a plane. I'm talking to Jess Malboy in the coming weeks. Oh, my goodness. Come on, you. Hey, um, you. have you ever lived in a share house? I know you haven't. Well, you live with human nature at school for a while. No, I didn't. We just happened to go to the same school. I, ha- I Apart from the house I grew up with, yeah. in, mm. sorry, yeah. um, no, no share house. Okay, I live in a share house now um, with three really messy flatmates who are up at all hours. <laughs> no uh, sleep in your bed. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, like, you've got your own rooms. I've actually done all right. Yeah. You've actually got your own room. And they never pay lovely. the rent either. No, they're always late yeah. with their rent. What about you, Dylan? Oh, yeah, I've done lots of share houses. We loved the share house back in the day. When we were all starting with our band, the Brown Horner, back in the day, which for some reason has now been mentioned twice on commercial radio, which has never happened before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we all had a house called the Brown House that we all just hung out in all the time. There was always a party there and it was debauched and none of the stories are suitable for the radio. Absolutely. Everybody what was the maximum? The <laughs> yes. That is another five cents in royalties. Thank you. I don't know why that's there, but thank you. There would have been mornings we woke up with 30 people in the house still. That's what I was going to say. Was that party or was that the amount of people that actually lived there? No, no, no. That was just party. It just didn't ever stop being a party. It was the best. (laughs) And I miss it. It was awesome. It's a little different now. More like Tim's life now. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 Everything's toned down. Um, uh, (laughs) There's a story about, uh, I mean, uh, rentals are just astronomical, aren't they? Especially in Sydney. Um, Today's money expert, Kate Ritchie. Mm. Melbourne as well. This is madness. And I guess Sometimes when you see the ads, you're like, oh, that looks like a bit of fun. Yeah. But maybe they want to go, you might want to go to a place like this for a party, Dylan, and then yeah. you get to go home. But if you're living there full time, it's a craziness. Two rooms are available for rent at a refurbished warehouse in Sydney's Inner West. It sleeps 10 people, supposedly. Oh. <laughs> the warehouse boasts a, a suite of entertainment facilities, but awesome. that's basically a huge DJ deck, um, oh. as well as a home cinema, gaming lounge and library. I mean, there's nothing particularly <laughs> fancy about it. Mind it. It's it's everything you need. It's all you need. It's got it's a room. Fantastic. But there's no decks. privacy. The two rooms on offer have partial flooring, yeah. all in that kind of aqua. <laughs> colour, so where it hasn't been finished. Yes. I'm, I'm going to say plywood even. Um, exposed, exposed plumbing and they are windowless, so no need for air. Don't um, need air. Nothing stinky going on in there. One of the rooms is on offer for seven fifty a month and the other for six fifty per month. I won't give you the website. Seven fifty a month? That's pretty good. That's yeah, but reasonable. have you seen the... Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's it like disgusting. When yeah. I say loft, it's basically a hole <laughs> in the roof you cavity. hang a few sheets out there. Uh, it's Joel Diamond next with Dylan Lewis. Don't miss it. We'll toss a coin and everything. Kate, Tim and Joel. Whoa. The built-in onesie Macklemore, the we have to leave it there, buddy, because we are, we're getting ready for Joel Whoa. Diamond. Like, now, oh, we've got some things. Like, we've got a Bluetooth oh, speaker. $50 for a t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's do some simple uh, Denise, Kate is playing for you. Hello. Hello. Hi, Yo. Hi, uh, Jack. Yes. Dylan is playing for you. He's never played Joel Jiving before. Sorry. I'm sure he'll be fantastic. Well, that's debatable. Let's see oh, how we go. Yeah. Game on. Menu hello won't. We're getting into it. Pop and tag. Yeah. Pop and tag. Let's do this. Joel Diamond time. It's 90s, it's 90s, it's 90s. Because last week I did drop a bomb, pop and tag. Oh, go kazoo. Oh, wow. Um, live kazoo with um, DJ Alligator and Blow My Whistle. Be up. 
I play the start of a song. You sing the next line. No points for spoken words. We flipped the coin, thankfully. We kept the rules going, even though you're playing with us, Dylan. We kept the rules happening because we're not, we're not into lying. No way. Um, and we you wanted the coin. I said what? Tails you said never tails, fails. and it tails, tails never fails, never and you fails. actually got it. Imagine that's that. What that's, that's what happens. That's what happens. Okay, Dylan, you are first. It's all nineties. First point. First three points wins. This is as big as it gets for the nineties. Go, Dylan. Hope you don't get the rules. Do you understand the rules? I've got no idea what happens next in this song. Are you serious? What? Egg of our cherry. Hey, Richie, Why don't I know if I'm going to know the first word of it? Well, it's the it's first word is the title of the song. Stay. Save. Save tonight. Yeah. Oh, that one. Tomorrow, for, to fight the break oh. of dawn. Come tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be gone. Save tonight. I'll give it to you. Save I'm not happy about it, but I'll give it to you. That's, that was good. Well, it's better than his effort. All right, Kate Richie, you're next. Okay. Is this all 90s stuff? Yes, yeah, 90s. Oh, wow. 90s That's edition. not fair. Why? It is not fair. Why? You were around in the 90s? Just because you might have been blazed the whole time? No memory. Okay, here we go. This is you, Kate Richie. I was hardly even born in the 90s. Sorry. (laughs) Oh, whoa. I was working, actually. I was working really hard and doing school and stuff. I was living in America for a lot of the 90s. I bet you you were. For for Friends and Seinfeld and all that stuff. Yeah. Clueless. Um, clueless. Oh, Bill Clinton. Like, oh, <laughs> you know, huge moments in the 90s. The Seinfeld finale. I was there I for that. Remembered. Um, here we go. Kate Ritchie, you're up. Uh, we need the next line to the song, and I'm going to be a bit more... Strict. Strict with the rules. But anything should happen. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. What a tune. Nothing's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause she's so high, high above me. She's so low. Oh, so yes. Low. Yeah, Tal Backman. Where is Tal Backman these days? That was good. So that was beautiful. Thank you. Do you think Do you I could audition music? for your... You should record music. Yeah, so I know. I really should. I'm wasted here, aren't I? Absolutely wasted. Dylan yeah, always talks when, when Dylan and I have a couple of beers together, which is once every you know fifteen twenty years. <laughs> um, he always says to me, "You've got to do it. You've got to you've got to join a band." And I go, "I have, can't join a band anymore. I can't. I'm past that." But can I though? Can I really? I think you two should start a band. The two of us. Yeah. yeah I don't know who would hate that more. Um, I don't think Joel should be in the band. No, but same. I I, well, we all agree on that. Um, <laughs> he doesn't want to be in our Imagine band. Kate and I on the road together. Oof. Oh, my God. I wouldn't survive it. Like Fleetwood <laughs> Mac. Like we're broken up <laughs> together again. We're broken up <laughs> together again. I hate you. I love you. I hate you. I love you. Oh, which one am I? Um, you're straw. Mick Fleetwood. <laughs> yeah. You're a big drummer's hand. Okay, yes, here we go. You ready for go. This is you, Dylan Lewis. Oh, God. I, this is... Good luck. Oh, God. Oh, God. This is my song. All I want to do oh, is Dylan. make ends meet. Oh, don't! But you're being you're oh. being silly now. You're being silly, and you're ruining this for it's, everyone. It's not. You this is know not, it. I. You should have done you Australian nineties. Oh, give stuff. me a break. Give me a go. Or he can have my point. Oh, I'm happy oh, to no, sing I it. Don't, no, no. I want to do oh, another. Shit. I want to do this other one. We'll do another one. I'll, I, do you, I mean, okay. he did get the first few words of that. He, okay. We All know right. he knew it. Right. We'll I'm, give it to you. We'll give it to you. But Dylan. if he wins it from here, it's not really no, a win. Right. Well, right. yeah, now, okay, okay, you ready for this? Imagine this. My turn? So, yeah, this is you, Kate Richie. And just before she hangs her head oh, no. to cry, <laughs> I sing to her <clears throat> a lullaby. Oh, yeah. Everything. Ever, yeah. Everything's gonna be all right. Rockabye. Rockabye. That is Dominated. Sean Mullins. What about names like Sean Mullins and Tal Tal Backman? Where are they these days? Sean Mullins, did he host The Voice or something? Um, don't know. Denise. Are you going to do any regurgitator? Jim no, Dyer, Denise, you're Megan. our winner. Congratulations. Oh, sorry. Denise, 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 hello. 
Hello? Yeah, congratulations. We you won. won. The Bluetooth speaker. Well done, well done. Wow, Dylan. You what? I was expecting more than that. <laughs> We're back tomorrow, Wednesday. We have all the usual stuff. Fitzy and Whipper coming up. Love you. Here's Tal to take us out. Tal Buckman. Tim and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.